And it's Monday night, and I want to thank everybody for listening in to the Cover Bridge Music Hour. And I also want to thank Ricky Rocket Beck for the Rocket Launch Show. And Rick's still in here helping me engineer tonight. How you doing, Rick? Woohoo! Yeah, you sound <laughs> you sound woohoo. Yeah. You know, somebody wrote to me last week, messaged me last week, and asked me if I was going through puberty. And I was like, because Why? your voice is squeaking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember, uh, was it uh, on the Brady Bunch? Bobby, when Bobby went through puberty during yeah. the, <laughs> it's one of my favorite ep- episodes. It's time to change. I remember that. That's cracked oh. me up. For all those folks listening in that are our age, they know that episode of the Brady Bunch. Um, for all the young audience listening in, you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I won't admit to it. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> well, it's post Firefly Monday. Yeah. And I know probably a lot of our listeners went out there to Firefly. I did not get out there. To, um, I know my daughter's out there. And apparently everybody's having a great time. I've been getting a lot of reports. I see a lot of things on Facebook. And it's you think about it, it's pretty cool to bring that kind of a music event to um, to Dover and bring all those bands and all that indie music. Um, I, I'm waiting for the official, I'm hearing some things about how Paul McCartney did, um, over the weekend, but I'm waiting for the, uh, official word from some folks, but I, I would imagine that the show from what I'm hearing, the show was well produced. In other words, it was pretty much, um, scripted out pretty much all the way, but, um, mm-hmm. somebody say pre-recorded, yeah, it could be pre-recorded, <laughs> but in any case, you know, that's what these, uh, large artists do. And, and the reason why they do that is because, it's safe. You know, they have a lot right. of stuff that's, it's not, they're still playing instruments, but not all the instruments are being played on stage. Not, not quite as bad as Millie Vanilli. Well, it's, pr- it's production. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's way they do it. And in, in all the shows, especially the big shows, they got, they got to turn that stuff around quickly and get, get them out there and make sure they sound good. So, but it's still Paul singing and you know, he's 73 and still going at it. And I'm telling you what, I, I give him a lot of credit because I'm hoping when I'm 73, I'm still doing it too. Um, but Firefly is a heck of an event, and uh, I would imagine it's going to continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So, well, let's go right to some music here on the Cover Bridge Music Hour. Of course, we always start the first segment off with some Cover Bridge music. Joey and I are actually working on our seventh album, and uh, we're looking forward to putting that out, which is going to be a hodgepodge of a whole bunch of different things. At least that's the way it's coming together. It's really cool. And it's got some pretty cool stuff coming out, so we're real excited about it. Uh, so the first, uh, we're going to do Only Human from Bring the Jazz Guitar on Monday, followed by Voodoo, also from Bring the Jazz Guitar on Monday, Down Economy from Damned Old Blues, and we'll finish out the first segment of Cover Bridge Music with Fight for Virginia from New Music of uh, new, new Musical Stories of the American Civil War, which, Ricky, by, you know, I looked at my, um, my CD Baby uh, account. We're over 90,000 streams with, of, of that album. That's cool. That's pretty amazing. You know, that's that a, is 90,000 streams of that album, different songs, you know, not all the same song, but overall. Yep. So that's pretty cool. And it's been going at it. It's been out since 2006, going on its 10th year. And let me guess, you made $3. Uh, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> We've already hashed that to death. Oh, so, they're, they're working on it though. I know. There's a lot stuff. of lawsuits going mm-hmm. out there right now. They're, they're trying to reverse this trend. We'll see what happens. So we'll get right to the music and we'll be back after these songs. I'm trying to care for myself. Things I'm eating all grow in my belt Stuff I'm drinking ruins my health I'm trying to care for myself I'm trying not to spend But all those bargains just don't end My money has no discipline I'm trying to save, not spend
chill every day the speed of life gets in the way I'm tired of all working no pay I'm trying to chill every day but I'm only human and I keep trying I'm only human and I keep trying I'm only human and I keep
There's no money in the down economy There's no money in the down economy The end just won't me Ain't no money left to eat There's no work in the down economy Said there's no work in the down economy Six months later, now the bank is calling me There's no whiskey in the down economy Ain't no whiskey in the down economy Been drinking homemade wine Cause dandelions are free Down economy Ain't no love In a down economy My woman ran off with a richer man Left me with mouths to feed Ain't no whiskey let your buying shot to see. Can't find no word. Unemployment line for me. Ain't no one taking credit for this down economy.
fight this war Even though my brothers are on the Union side I won't fight against the only land I've ever known That's why I'll fight for Virginia Our state has joined the Confederacy To preserve our farms and property Virginia way of life be free I'll fight for my state like generally I'll tell you that I'll fight this war Even though my friends are on the Union side I won't fight against the only land I've ever known That's why I'll fight, I'll fight, I'll fight, I'll fight For Virginia for Virginia, for Virginia, for Virginia, I fight. live back here at Digital Street Studio for the Cover Bridge Music Hour. I'm Kevin Nemeth, and I'm in the studio with Ricky Rocket Beck. And Joey is not in tonight. Uh, it's Monday night. Joey had some other things going on musically. As you all know, Joey's out there cranking out the jams as much as he can. And if you get a chance to get out and see Joe live to do his solo act or Nothing But Trouble or come out and see us when we're playing with uh, Cover Bridge. Oh, that reminds me. We mm-hmm. have a gig coming up this Saturday. We're playing a wedding uh, reception yes with nothing but trouble that's going to be a blast ricky Rick, i know ricky's going to join us on keys and we've got jim mcgiffin on stand-up bass and chris foltz on uh, drums and uh, we're going to be playing up in uh, middletown at a private uh, wedding and nothing but trouble we're going to actually be opening opening up for nothing but trouble that's going to be fun i know yeah, we'll have a lot of fun. I love those guys, man. Yeah. You're going to have to chain me down to keep me from jumping Well, I'm hoping that we can all jump in and get a, have a big jam at the end. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. So maybe we can pull that off. Um, but certainly, you know, we're, we're um, this last couple of weeks, uh, we've had, um, we've been working on a video. And um, this is a cover bridge video. And we're almost done the video. And uh, I have Al Lescovar, who I know you guys have heard in the studio before Al has a lot of stuff going on in the um, entertainment and the comedy world. And, but, uh, Al is a pr- awesome, uh, video editing guy. It's got a lot of creativity and we've been putting this video together, um, for cover bridge and hopefully we'll put it out. We put the Antietam video out a couple weeks ago and a lot of folks like that, but this is a little different and, uh, we'll be, um, putting it out sometime here in the next, uh, I'd say next week. And I'll let everybody know when that comes out. And it's pretty cool. You know, doing video, doing music videos is a whole different experience. You know, mm-hmm. you got the audio side, but then you're going and do the video side. That's a different experience. Well, where's where's the Antietam? Where, where can I go? To hear um, actually, it'll be up on the Coverbridge website this week. Cool. Yeah, it'll be up on the website. It's been out there on uh, Facebook and it's been out there on uh, YouTube. But I'll put it up on the Cover Bridge music. Are we going to put a link at uh, Digital Street? Yeah, I'll put a link on Digital Street hey. and the radio. Radio station also. Yeah. So it's pretty interesting doing videos. I'm, I'm having a good time. So let's get right to the uh, se- second segment of music. We've got uh, Nate Grower with Burning Well. Uh, Tony Rocks, who Tony just played uh, last this last weekend uh, yeah. at, at Seafood City uh, with Blackwater Blues. And then uh, Shades of August with Somewhere in April. And they played a June Jam last week. So yeah. Um, and they I heard they did. Good. Yeah, I heard they did a lot of their original stuff, and uh, if not all the original stuff, and everybody said they just kicked butt. And then um, we have Brian Dawson, who's the lead man for Shades of August. Well, he had a couple solo tracks that he gave us, and we're going to play one of those in this segment. It's called Heavy. That'll end the segment two of the Cover Bridge Music Hour. 
And again, I want to thank everybody for listening in tonight. And also, if you have original music or you want to get us some of your original music, just email us at digitalstreetstudio at gmail.com and we'll let you know how to get your music to us. We're starting to get some nice tracks from some folks and we and Ricky's been launching them and then we've been putting them in the rotation and we're really glad to have them. So if you know some artists that have original music from our area, please get them to us and we'll get in touch with them. So let's get right to the songs and we'll be back after this segment. <laughs> Thank you. 
the black water Swimming in evil things Down in the black water Swimming in evil things Times like this Only have himself to blame
We are back here in the studio, Digital Street Studio, on Digital Street Radio for the Cover Bridge Music Hour. And I want to thank everybody for listening in. And I've got Ricky Rocket back in the studio here engineering for me. Yay! Listen, he's even clapping for himself. Uh, Joey's out doing his thing tonight. And um, again, I want to remind everybody to get out and see Joey Fulkerson. You know, we have to promote our own here. And uh, Joey is awesome. Get out and check out his act. And um, he'll really, you know, any he, he never disappoints. Never disappoints. But, Ricky, I got to ask you a question. You brought in, uh, a week ago, you brought in this nice Roberts tape deck. And uh, I know you've been fiddling and farting around with it. And um, I'm excited as hell to try to uh, use it. So I've got to ask you, is it ready to roll? I think so. What do we have left to do to get that thing rolling where we can actually do some recording on it? To be honest with you, I don't think there's anything left to do except Ah, try it out. All right. So... Let's think about this. We've got mm-hmm. uh, we've got four tracks on that uh, on that tape. So we got um, well, it's actually it, it's actually left, a, right, and then you turn it over. Yeah, quarter track, two yeah. track. Right. However, this model did have sound with sound, so you could record you just, on one mono side in mm-hmm. the direction, right? Then flip the tape over, and so you'd have track one, two, which right. would be left and right, right side one, right, and then three, four. But I, I've never tried that actually. But um, it, it's all tube, so there's there's our big advantage. Oh, there, absolutely, sending it right through it. Absolutely. And, you know, who we tried a guitar through it last week. Well, no, yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. actually, when it overdrove, when it, we had the overdrive on that on that tube, it was killer. Man. <laughs> Sounded like a uh, Marshall amp. <laughs> yeah, yep. coming through the little speakers in that Roberts. Yeah, yeah, you just we saturated that tube on that um, on that one setting. I guess the way we put that through. But I can't wait to try out. Um, you know, I, I know D- Dave Grohl from uh, Foo Fighters has the last album they did on tape, and now he did convert it. You know over to digital but it was recorded originally on tape so we're going to try to get a couple uh, my goal is on this new cover bridge seven album is a couple of the tracks to be recorded on tape so now that we've got our machine we have our engineer and a man knows what he's doing that's mr beck over here and we'll see if we can't put some uh, tracks down and um we'll let everybody know how it goes i i'm i'll get the video camera out and we'll uh, we'll video that session <laughs> and maybe give some folks some uh, inside the studio looks at the old tape and also i have the uh, b&b rock camp kids coming over here in july oh cool and they're come over for an afternoon just to look at the studio i can't wait to we're gonna have that thing set up and we'll have to you know i can guarantee these kids have never seen anything like that you know these the the, the tape deck spinning yeah, it's gonna really they're gonna go. What the heck is that? And I, and I'll tell you when when I first fired it up, it's like a Leslie. 
takes a, little, takes a few minutes to get warmed up. But man, once she warms up, there's nothing like the smell of the machine. Right. That tubes in there. Yeah. Man. Yeah. That's, that's a little bit of a geek thing though, Rick. I mean, not everybody want to smell the tubes. Yeah, but I like bus <laughs> exhaust too. <laughs> hmm? All right. Well, you heard it right here. <laughs> Rick's out smelling exhaust and smelling yeah, the power gray, tubes. Greyhound buses, man. They had the <laughs> best smell. That's a TMI. I man. thought about starting the candle series. What's you that? You know, like for Yankee Candle. But a, 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 a candle. A bus smells. <laughs> for men, you know. Greyhound bus. Oh, uh, my Fresh God. cut grass. There you go. 30 weight oil. That's, I mean. That's right. Th- you know, put that in your garage and somebody will think you're a mechanic, you know. <laughs> I love it. You might have a you might have a million dollar idea there. No, I should have patented that before yeah. I candles for men. There you go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go right to segment three and um, get to some new music here. Well, well, it's not new music, but music we haven't played in a while. Uh, Glenn Howard's track "Daddy's Money" will start this segment, and then Kate Russo with her track "Dandelion," which is one of my favorite Kate Russo songs. Fallen by uh, Greg Ellingsworth from his album, The Dream. Dream, And Greg, I just love that song so much that every time I get a chance, I play it. And then Blake Thompson will end the uh, segment with his song, Changes. So we'll go right to the music. And I want to thank everybody for listening in here on Monday night to the Cover Bridge Music Hour. And uh, we'll be back after these tracks. Daddy's money, 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 
one else would ever do When I know that there's nobody home To hold me close the way you do I seem to find myself thinking of you And I know that if I wait long enough You'll be falling, falling, falling Yeah, I know that if I wait long enough Without you When I see young lovers having fun You're not there What do I do? I seem to find myself Long enough, you'll be falling, falling. Yeah, I know that if I wait long enough, you'll be falling, falling, falling. Oh.
And we're back here live in the studio for the Cover Bridge Music Hour. And uh, I want to thank again everybody for listening in. And we're going to be wrapping up here the show in a few minutes. And we've got a great segment to, to end the show. Before we go, I want to talk a little bit about my favorite subject um, in music. And that's um, as guitars. You know me. I, I, I'm like the rest of you guys out there listening. But I, I saw a video the other day. Um, it was with Les Paul. It was called Searching for Sound. I think it was Les Paul or Searching for Sound. And, you know, what people don't realize is the contributions that that guy made to music. Um, one, you know, of course, obviously the Les Paul guitar, which was at the time kind of laughed off by Gibson when he came in and said, you know, we're going to take this guitar and make it a solid body and uh, it'll add to, it'll add to sustain. And they just kind of say, are you kidding me? And they really didn't want to make that guitar for him. But they, they did. And of course, it was a major hit. Um, and then, you know, of course, the... Um, Multi-track recording. I mean, he was really one, the pioneer to create multi-track recording and how to do it. He yeah. actually did it live on stage. He created a, um, I don't know if you saw that, but he created a, a, a relay box on his guitar that would relay the guitar signal into the tape. And, right. And it would f- play it back through the through the guitar, through the, through the uh, pickups, and he would play over it. So right. he was, in a sense, multi-track and live, which... When you think about that, 1950s, oh yeah, early 60s, that yeah. was the Beatles. Off the chart. The Beatles didn't have an eight track until I think the White Album. Yeah, 68. And I saw on this uh, video, this interview he had, it was uh, he said Bing Crosby was really his inspiration for multi track because Bing and him were friends, mm-hmm. and uh, Bing called him up and said, "Why don't you come out here? I got something to show you." And Bing had this, um, you know, this this tape. It was a tape machine, single track type tape, maybe. And um, Bing had mentioned to him or said something to him about, it, gosh, if we could only find a way we could just sing on top of each other, you know, and record it. And that, you know, of course, Les Paul was this brilliant engineer. <laughs> so he, he actually took that. He Bing gave him that tape machine, and that's he put it in his, had it in a little garage in New Jersey, and he worked on a way to kind of recycle it back through. Um, all kinds of things. Uh, flanging. Yeah. was Les Paul's invention and, and by by holding the flange of the tape as it was rolling it would kind of slow the tape down on one side and it would create that flange sound so the man was an absolute genius all the way around but but um, the thing that I fully love about Les Paul and is his playing I mean the guy could play guitar yeah. and um, just really blew me away when they showed some video of him at the Iridium Club at 90 I think it was 91 or 92 maybe the last couple of times he was playing and you know the arthritis he was he was in an interview say how the arthritis has really taken his hands away but he was still able to adapt to make to play the the songs he was playing and it was absolutely enjoyable if anybody gets a chance it's on YouTube and I think it's called Les Paul searching for sound I believe it is and it's a great to watch that whole thing it's about 40 minutes long but I, I've watched it twice and it's fantastic so well let's get out to uh um, let's get, let's leave the uh, cover bridge music hour, finish up tonight with some great songs. And, uh, we're going to finish out this segment with Jim Denny. Our man, Jim Denny is, uh, down a little bit. Uh, he's been, uh, ill and want to wish Jim a, um, quick recovery. And we're going to play his song, the kind of man the world needs. And then we'll go right from to James Witherite with North by Northwest. And then followed by Hyde Park with rats, cats, and dogs. And then we'll finish it out with Chris Kirby from an old track from Chris Kirby called There You Are. And again, I want to thank everybody for listening in tonight on the Cover Bridge Music Hour. We'll be back here next Monday night. And uh, get out and support all our artists and musicians out there this week. Uh, Check Joey out on Wednesday night at the Touchdown. He's doing his gig. Um, Cover Bridge will be playing, um, I think, probably uh, most of the day on Saturday, maybe mostly Saturday night. We'll, We'll let you know next Monday night how that goes. And again, thanks for listening in. Have a great night. Got home from work today Filled up my dinner plate Sat down to watch the evening news 
are still fighting overseas. There's more violence in our streets. Lord, what's this world coming to? I know I'm just one man doing the best I can to take care of my family and friends. But I'm tired of watching world falling apart while I sit here on my hands Cause God if you're listening take this anger inside me and use it for good show me what I can do and I will fall I just want to be the kind of man this world needs. Maybe I could help out building that new house for a homeless family. Maybe I could show up down at the boys club but some lonely kid could count on me I know I'm just one man doing the best I can but maybe I could do more cause I'm tired of hoping someone else will make it right maybe that's what I'm here for So God, if you're listening Take this anger inside me And use it for good Show me what I can do And I will follow you Cause I just want to be The kind of man this world needs I don't want to be angry anymore I don't want to live in fear I might not be able to fix the whole wide world But I can make a difference right here So God, if you're listening Take this anger inside me and use it for good. Show me what I can do and I will follow you because I just want to be the kind of man this world needs. This world This world needs
still stuck in my head There you are, like a ghost but from the dead There you are, there you are, in a picture beside my bed Yeah.